months ago, the Pope stated that wasting food is like stealing from the poor, which made many people question if wasting food is like stealing from the poor, then is keeping food like giving to the rich? Because of this theory, two homeless men are now in protest, stating that they refuse to support the rich while they're the ones in need of food. How are they protesting, you may ask? By throwing away the exact same food that's being donated to them. We took some time to get the thoughts of two hobos, Sherman B. Little and a man that went by a series of numbers we're still trying to decode. <laughs> I've been working too goddamn hard for these people coming here thinking they're gonna give me some food. All meals get thrown away. I'm gonna poop it out anyway so it'll save me to work. Shit! Shit! You know, it ain't even that bad being out here, you know. It's, you know, it's less stressful. You know, and now that I don't need to eat, it's definitely less stress. We don't support the rich. Not never we go. We don't. Not never go. We never. Not never. I got three reasons why I don't like rich people. Number one, they got too much damn money. As for the opposing side, we sat down with two entrepreneurs, Wells B. Fargo and Dow Jones, owners of Fargo Jones Adult Video Distribution Company in LA. You see, we're for the people, but it just seems like the people aren't for us. We're, we look like everyone else. Look at the way we're dressed. Come on now. Everyone dresses like this. Come on now, $1,000, uh, what, what's this, what's this, like 10, 10 Gs? I think that's fake. That's, no, that's, that's not the fake, that's a, that's a fake one. They over here talking about they don't want to support us when we're the main ones helping the community. We've Tell been, them how we, we help. We've been helping for years. We have a charity called Porn for Torn mm -hmm. to help out homeless, torn part families. Mm -hmm. You got charities for everything but the rich. For you everything got, but you got the toys rich. for tots. Toys. Well, I ain't no charities for the rich. I need support. Let's start a home foundation. The rich for the itch. You the know rich what I'm for the itch. And somebody need to scratch it. Mm -hmm. be so, living so, so, how is this actually affecting you guys? To get a fresh perspective on things, we asked locals like Matt Jones to get his thoughts, and he pointed us to these two men who were eager to voice their opinion, John Middle and Sagittarius Capricorn. I personally think uh, the rich and the homeless to come together and have like a soup kitchen where they serve uh, uh, meat. I'm just here to be on camera. I'm trying to get some new girls. See, the thing about it is, what the rich don't realize is the more that you give food, the poorer you become. And what the homeless don't realize is the more you throw away food, the more poor you become. So, like, what I'm saying is exactly that. I had a homeboy who got on the news and he had sex every day the next week. I'm just hoping that I get the same path that he got, you know, by this you know, exposure. I honestly think the community should come together to pull together and uh, have some type of charity event where the rich, they come and they give the homeless food. Wait, that's the problem they're in now, so they ain't gonna be able to Am I gonna be able to like, download this so I can get this clip put it on my YouTube? I sat down with Not Here For This, author of Art Of Not Caring, and Jerome Hansen is me to get his thoughts on this. We're the same exact per- So what was the point to all this? Maybe to show the psyche behind Americans during the economic downturn? Or maybe Dorm Payment just needed to put out a new skit while Chaz, Mike, and Tay were gone on vacation. I'm Jerome Hansen, Dateline NBC. Don't nobody walk around in the white shorts like me. Ben did. Don't nobody walk around in the black pants like him. Ben did. Don't nobody dress with the button down, up down to the third button. It's a third, it's a specific ben button you go to. I got two friends. Mm -hmm. One's a pigeon and one's a bird. I'm just. Boy, let me tell y'all something. When I first moved out here, I was eating food. And when I found out that keeping food was like giving to the rich, what I do? What I do? I throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you is 
when uh, Christopher Columbus sailed here in 1775 or 1995, what whatever one it was. Man. We also need support. They don't understand. We're on life support you here. Don't it's understand. 1%. We're almost extinct. Oh, Where's Sarah McLaughlin when we need her? Because we need an infomercial about helping mean? us with the sad what music. Where's Ange back. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt? Come adopt me. Please. Maybe to show the psyche behind Americans during an economic downturn. Or maybe Dormtainment just needed to put out a new skit while Chaz wrote. You know we're the exact same person, right? How do you feel about the homeless people? You know we're the exact same person, right? Is that how you feel about the situation? You know we're the exact same person, right? We have on different shirts. That's about it. I have on your khakis right now. So you don't agree with the homeless? Throwing away the food. We're down at the local uh, middle, middle school. school. Um, we uh, serve potato. You know how long it takes to peel a potato? Like that's it's it's a it's a at certain least seven quality. Hours. It's a certain seven quality. Seven hours for one potato. To a potato. I gotta shave two hundred. He shaved two hundred. I gotta peel two hundred potatoes. That's exactly how many. Do he do the math. That's a lot of potatoes. That's about five minutes. So I don't care if if I might help the rich. So what? I'ma keep my food. Somebody gonna eat them potatoes. You got I peel for seven hours. You got hours loaded potatoes, eat. garlic, uh, mashed. Mm. Whole potatoes, mm. sweet. You can fry them. You can fry them. You can bake them. Bake them. You can saute them. Saute them. You can chop them. Chop them. You can dice them. You can dice them. You can slice them. You can slice them. You can cut them. it in half. Cut in half. In quarter inch. Mm -hmm. in centimeters. And matter of fact, what what the rich can do is they can purchase purchase more French fries because those are also potatoes that we can serve. <laughs> Shake that ass on the internet. Shake that ass on the internet. Damn, girl. Shake it.